and welcome to this video podcast. My name is Georgine and I'm a nutrition scientist working on the education team at the British Nutrition Foundation. In this podcast, we will look at energy balance and how to achieve and maintain a healthy weight. In the nutrition feature, we will look at diet and activity and what you may need to eat and drink if you do a lot of exercise or play sport regularly. We eat food because it provides us with energy that we need to grow, be active and keep warm. Different people need different amounts of energy depending on who they are and what they do. Different activities use up different amounts of energy. For instance, playing football uses a lot more energy per minute than watching television. Energy is provided by all food and drinks except water. It is measured in kilojoules. Food and drinks provide different amounts of energy depending on how much carbohydrate, protein and fat they contain. Alcohol also provides energy. Here is a table showing gram per gram fat provides more than two times the amount of energy compared with carbohydrate. This means that if you eat the same weight, say 30 grams of boiled potatoes and crisps, the crisps will provide more energy. Foods that are high in fat provide a high amount of energy. How much energy we take in from food and drinks and how much energy we use up can affect our weight. To get the balance right, it is important to eat only as much food as you need and to go for healthier choices. Try to eat lots of fruit and vegetables, plenty of starchy foods such as bread, pasta, potatoes and rice, a moderate amount of milk and dairy foods, and some meat, fish, eggs, beans and other non-dairy sources of protein. We need energy every day even when we are sleeping, going out and about and being active. We also need energy for growth and repair. If we take in the right amount of energy to meet our needs, we are said to be in energy We balance. will have enough energy without putting on extra weight. When we eat more food than our body needs, the excess energy will be stored usually as fat and we may put on weight. Even small amounts of extra energy each day can lead to weight gain over time. It is important to be a healthy weight. We know that being overweight can lead to health problems such as heart disease, high blood pressure and diabetes but being underweight can also affect our health. The way to reach a healthy weight is to change your lifestyle gradually. Avoid weight loss diets that aren't good for your health and don't work in the long run. Physical activity is a good way of expending energy and helps us control body weight over the long term. It can also make the heart and blood healthier and give us a feeling of well-being. Let's see what we can do every day to get active. Um, a really quick and easy way that I fit in physical activity is to get off a tube or bus stop one or two stops ahead. So that um, fits in five to ten minutes of brisk walking really quickly and easily. Well the easiest way I find to be physically active is just to go out for a, a walk with my dog just out in the country or out by the seashore or something of that kind. I find that's easy and best of all it's free. Getting out in the garden and uh, enjoying my plants, I enjoy growing things, um, flowers, vegetables. Um, all sorts of things. It keeps me healthy because it keeps me active and it gets me out in the fresh air. As you can see, you don't need to join a gym to be active. Simple ways can help you move more and reach and maintain energy balance. The second part of this video podcast focuses on diet and activity and what you may need to eat and drink when you do a lot of exercise or play sport regularly. Eating a healthy, balanced diet will provide you with all the nutrients you need to take part in your favourite sport or activity. This means eating a wide variety of foods to get the balance right. If you take part in a sport regularly, the best way to get the most out of your sport is to eat enough carbohydrate to keep you going during exercise. Carbohydrate is the most important fuel for energy. Include plenty of starchy foods such as rice, pasta, potatoes and bread. These should make up a third of the food we eat. Let's ask Lisa, a senior nutrition scientist, to explain why carbohydrate is important for activity. Carbohydrate is stored in the body, in your muscles and in your, the liver as glycogen. When you're finding yourself tired when you're doing some exercise or sport, this is often because your glycogen stores are low. 
So it's very important to maintain your glycogen stores to make sure that you can perform longer when you're exercising. This is particularly important for endurance exercises such as long distance running or cycling. For the first two hours after exercise, the muscles can refuel its glycogen stores twice as fast as normal. So it's really important to have carbohydrate rich foods as soon as possible after a workout. Thanks Lisa. Remember also to eat enough for your level of activity. If you eat too little, you won't be able to keep up with your exercise levels. Equally, if you eat too much, you will still gain weight even though you are active. Keeping well hydrated is also very important during exercise. If you get dehydrated, it can stop you getting the most out of your activity. So it's important to make sure you drink enough. To help keep hydrated, don't wait until you feel thirsty. Drink lots before you start exercising. Keep some drink handy so you can have a sip whenever you need it while you're exercising. Drink plenty when you have finished. And remember that the fluid we drink when we are active should be on top of the usual 1.2 litres. That is around 6 to 8 glasses we need every day. We also need to drink more when the weather is hot. That's it for this episode. This is our last in the series of video podcasts. We hope you have enjoyed them and learned a lot. If you need any further nutrition information, visit our website www.nutrition.org.uk or visit www.foodeffectoflife.org.uk. Goodbye.